Asus sent me their new Z270 Maximus 9 code board, which sits just above the Hero and just below the Formula board. The new features include USB 3.1 front panel headers, as well as Aura and the 2x2 uh, multi-user MIMO Wi-Fi, which is pretty awesome. Into the box you get the usual stuff like the uh, motherboard manual, SATA cables, rear aerial shield, SLI bridges, and all that sort of stuff, and you do get a few extra features that I'll talk about in a second, including a whole load of stickers. This is what the motherboard looks like, obviously very stylistic, yeah, and obviously with plenty of RGB headers, including the Aura RGB header at the bottom, and the vertical M.2 slot as well, which requires the sort of support bracket, which comes inside the box. There's also another plate uh, that sort of covers up the chipset heatsink here, which also hides the other M.2 slots, and there's also a whole load of 4-pin fan connectors on the uh, uh, board here, as you can see. There's also the reinforced PCI slots, which are on all of the X16 slots, and otherwise uh, you do have a debug, yes, yeah, sort of LED screen at the top, as well as hardware start and reset buttons. You also have some debug LEDs just on uh, the side next to the 24 pin and just below that you do have the USB 3.1 front panel header. I believe this is the new standard header as well which is awesome uh, and you also do have the backwards compatible USB 3.0 header as well as the 6 SATA 6 gigabit port. The rear is comprised of 4 USB 2 ports, 4 USB 3 ports, gigabit ethernet, USB 3.1 and type C. You also have a very nice audio setup and the clear BIOS as well as the BIOS flashback button and uh, obviously the Wi-Fi and display outputs. Otherwise this board is obviously very stylish with RGB LEDs and the Republic of Gamers logo and the rear IO cover plus the hardware power and reset buttons up the top too which is quite nice. The BIOS itself is actually very nice, it's very laid out and very easy to use in the sort of easy mode and then when you put it into the advanced mode there are some really great and in-depth uh, AI tweaker or overclocking options including one called Tweaker's Paradise which I found quite fun and otherwise it's a very detailed and easy to use BIOS. One of the cool features I did see was that you can uh, A turn off the uh, RGB lighting from inside the BIOS and also you can see what is in your PCIe slots as well which is quite nice for diagnosing GPU issues and otherwise the Q fan controller is actually pretty awesome too for managing your fans, although you can manage this in Windows. Asus's Maximus code board is actually pretty awesome. Now it's certainly on the high end of things, I mean the price is meant to be somewhere around £300, making it pretty, you know, high up on the list of uh, expensive motherboards, although do bear in mind that uh, we will need to see full retail pricing on the 5th uh, once these are actually available, as obviously the reviews can go up on the 3rd and then uh, everything else is available on the 5th. Uh, now the other thing to mention is that uh, these are, this is very obviously a premium motherboard, so you have a really nice I.O. here, you obviously have have Wi-Fi built in which is nice and you do have I believe two M.2 slots one of them is a vertical one which I think you need to attach the mounting plate to and then you also have the one that's hidden under the uh, sort of shielding uh, that you can take off with one screw and then just sort of clip it off uh, otherwise it's as said very nice aesthetically it's pretty awesome too uh, overclocking wise, as I've spoken about in uh, both the 7700K and all the other motherboard reviews I've talked about uh, you know, so far and will be talking about, um, I am not very good at overclocking, uh, at least at this point in time anyway, although there is certainly a lot of features available for you if you do want to overclock, which is quite nice. There's also uh, obviously the debug uh, LEDs, uh, the uh, you know uh, seven segment displays that show you the fault codes, but you also have uh, some actual hardware LEDs to show you the RAM, the CPU the VGA and the boot device uh, issues as well right next to the 24-pin uh, power connector. Otherwise, there are some new features on here, including the USB 3.1 front panel header. I don't know if that is necessarily standardized yet, and it's certainly the first one that I've seen on any uh, Z270 uh, boards so far. I believe Gigabyte will be using it on the Gaming 9, and hopefully I'll be checking one of those, one of those out in the next couple of days. So if I am, do stick around for that too. But uh, yeah, either way, it is still nice, and hopefully case manufacturers will adopt that standard fairly shortly so that we can have proper USB-C uh, and front panel 3.1 support but uh, yeah otherwise it's a pretty nice board obviously the, the biggest thing is ju it's just very expensive the BIOS is very well laid out, and as I said, if you are an overclocker, there does seem to be a lot of provisions available for you in the BIOS to be able to overclock uh, very nicely, so that's pretty cool. In terms of scoring, I think I'm going to go for a uh, 3.55 money here. Uh, I think in terms of performance, I'm going to go with a 5. Functionality, I think I'm going to go with a 5 as well. Styling, I'm going to go with a 4.5. I think their uh, their formula board, which is the one up from this, is going to be the best you know, looking in the ROG range, but it's certainly very nice. Uh, and in terms of uh, Tetum DB score, I'm going to go with 
a 4.5 uh, and the uh, I think probably the gold award it's a very nice motherboard just very very expensive if you are an overclocker or someone who just wants a very nice aesthetic board but doesn't want to shell out the extra money for the uh, formula board then this is a pretty nice option so uh, yeah, I guess that's that really. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful, informative. If you've got any comments about the motherboard, the way I do things or anything else, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button too. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more updates and all that sort of stuff. Check out some of the other videos, I'll leave some uh, stuff uh, over here for you. Uh, and yeah, other than that, feel free to check out the 7700K review and the Gigabytes and other Asus motherboard reviews as they come out. So. Uh, yeah, that's kind of that really. Um, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.